In this video I want to talk about where to put the abutments at on a uh, 55 to 90 foot long rail car. So we can see here, let's get the lighting right, that's the uh, coupler over there, sitting over there. This is the center sill coming along here and that's the uh, center plate all the way down. That's the middle of the deep section of the rail car. So oftentimes people will put their abutments right here on the rail car. Now, from, from this point here to the very edge, we have a good 10 feet or so. So this rail car is 60 foot long, and that center plate is right, right about here on the rail car. So you're losing, so if, if you were to put your abutments here, you're losing all that space right here that you could be utilizing. That's a lot of wasted space. It's not a bad way to, to do it if, if you have a smaller creek, but, uh, but you could move your abutment further back. Now, as we move our abutment further back, you can see that all these rail cars are a little bit deeper over here. As you move your abutment further back, it does make the rail car a little bit weaker and a little bit more bouncy. Um, these rail cars are designed to hold, you know, 100 tons, so even if we had to reduce that weight capacity, it's, it's usually not that big of a deal. But sometimes, we can put our abutment way far to the back here, way over to the, to the end sill. Way back over here. That, that is entirely possible. Let me get this ladder out of the way. We could put our abutments way back over here, but that would require us stiffening, stiffening up that rail car a little bit. Let me show you what that looks like. Here we have some 90 foot long rail cars. And you can see here, these are upside down. You can see there, there's a center plate. And there's where, from there to there is about 12 feet. Um, so what people did in years past is they put their abutments right here. Some people even put their abutments way over here in the deep section. Nothing wrong with that. But what we can do as well, as an alternative, instead of putting our abutment here or even anywhere here, we're actually putting our abutment way back to that point right here. Okay, so we're going to the very edge of the rail car. That's, um, that's a pretty new concept for, uh, for rail car bridges, going to the very edge of the rail cars. Um, these are just steel plates that we're going to use these. These are going to be used up underneath here to stiffen up that rail car. They go underneath there to stiffen it up. But what we do in order to do that kind of a length is we stiffen up the rail car um, with these with these I-beams. And you can see we we have to run quite a few I-beam. It's actually a, a, a pretty neat concept. And we just weld it all the way down. That's what we're working on down there still. Is um, making that rail car stiffer and stronger so we can put our abutments all the way back over here. Okay, so that's a little bit different. But it allows us to clear span 88 feet, which is uh, unheard of for rail cars. These, this rail car is only 89 feet long, so we're, we're, uh, we're kind of pushing the envelope. Um, that piece there, that, that I-beam is ready to be set on there. we got to do some work to that before it's ready to go. But uh, that's that.